What's going on glorious beings? So today I want to make a video about trauma and digestion and elimination. So I want to start with a few stories. One is based on my dog. My dog is a Bernese mountain dog and Bernese mountain dogs are pretty big dogs. So big dogs are already known for having digestive problems later on as, they, as their age progresses. So my dog comes from a mill uh, from Toronto and when we got him he had chronic diarrhea for a month straight. We tried giving him medication, we tried giving him all kinds of stuff and the diarrhea wouldn't stop. So eventually it dawned on me that he was probably in a traumatic experience. He was probably separated from his parents earlier than he should have been. And then from what I remember, he was raised in a cage. And from what I remember, because I wasn't there, I was told by the person that picked him up for me that he was raised in a cage. So this must, must have created a very traumatic experience for him. And so he wasn't digesting properly, probably was constantly always nervous. And so this gave him diarrhea. As we learned in naturopathy school, uh, diarrhea is a form of constipation. What happens when your intestine or your body notices that there's the bowel isn't moving, it sends out this storm of water to try and get it out. And sometimes it does, but sometimes what happens is that the, the stool actually doesn't move and it gets dehydrated from all the water that, that just came out of you. Sorry about all the hand gestures anyways. So it dawned on me that if I would give my dog a little bit more love and tenderness, he would probably heal. I mean, I changed his diet also. I gave him natural food. I gave him a bit of rice to make the, the stool hard. But I also gave him a little psyllium and a little fiber so that the, the stools would move on. But uh, I figured he came from a very traumatic experience and therefore I had to neutralize the trauma for him. So what I did actually, and this is why I have a bed behind me, this is not my main bedroom. This is actually my office, but my main bedroom, the bed is very high. And when he was a baby, he couldn't jump on the bed. So I set this bed here on purpose so that he could jump in the bed with me and I could cuddle him and I could pet him and he could feel all good. And within a three or four days of doing that, his, his diarrhea went away. His poop has always been soft, softer than the average dog, but he, he was much better. He was healthier. He was happier. I have pictures before and after when like we first got him, he was really upset, really kind of sad, depressed. And then a couple of weeks in, I'm cuddling him, making him feel good. He was like really happy, really chirpy, and so on and so forth. So trauma has a big uh, part to play in how you digest. So this is just with my dog. But then I actually want to tell you a story of, uh, of a friend that I had who had a traumatic experience who was constantly constipated. So what happened with her is that her parents split apart and her stepmother was kind of gaslighting her and the dad into making them believe that she was like a, an ideal, beautiful, amazing stepmother. But then when the dad went away, she would scream at her and shake her and be super, super mean to her. And also you gotta remember that her parents were apart and when your parents are apart, this means that you're constantly sleeping in different uh, locations, like from week to week or bi-weekly, uh, whatever the situation uh, holds. So what happened is this, this girl was in, in a traumatic state. I mean, she was five, six years old and this lady was beating her and she was traumatizing her and whatever. So now let me explain to you how you digest and you eliminate. You digest and you eliminate by being in a parasympathetic state. So the parasympathetic state is when you're relaxed, you're calm, your body could digest, your body could sleep, focus properly and eliminate. If you're in a sympathetic state, what happens is your body's jolted, your body's always in a constant fight or flight response and you're not digesting. If you're not digesting, there's no movement, you're not eliminating. So imagine, and this I learned from my dog, it's really, really interesting. When you walk a dog, before he starts to poop, he looks around to see if he's safe and if you're watching him. And the reason he does that is because he's in a very vulnerable situation. So nobody wants to take a poop when they're, they feel like their life's in danger, unless you really have to and it's like just coming out of you. But generally speaking, your body and your mind wanna know that they're in a safe place when you're taking a poop. So I learned this from my dog in that when we were walking, he would see if I was watching and being attentive to him before he would go because he needed to feel safe. So I parallel this story with this friend of mine that I had. She conditioned her, her sphincter and her bowels to be constipated because when she was at her dad's house with her stepmom, she wouldn't feel safe. 
So like imagine a scenario where you're being scolded and you're being hit and you're being shaken and then you like kind of have to go to the washroom but you have to sit down on a ball and maybe part of your mind's like I'm, I'm not gonna sit down I'm in a vulnerable position this crazy lady could come in and hit me all over again while I'm like while, while I'm trying to eliminate and so on and so forth I mean it sounds ridiculous but it's not that ridiculous if you think about it that's why when you go to the washroom you want quiet you usually don't want to go in, into uh, people's washrooms to do a number two you want to make sure you're around people that make you feel safe in fact sometimes you want to be alone you want to make sure that nobody's around uh, so taking a poop and feeling safe go hand in hand I mean laugh if you will but they go hand in hand so this girl who was like at her stepmom's house not feeling safe not feeling comfortable conditioned her bowel to be constipated and then not to mention when you're in a scenario where you're four five six years old and you're going to mom's house then you're going to dad's house then you're going to mom's house then you're going to dad's house what happens is that there's there's periods throughout your your bi-week your bi-weekly cycle or your weekly cycle where you're constantly kind of changing beds so you're uncomfortable when you're uncomfortable in your in your setting you don't sleep when you don't sleep you don't finish digesting when you don't finish digesting you don't eliminate to the extent that you could eliminate so I mean I want to make this video short because I don't I could go on all day on the subject but I want you to analyze in your life if you're constipated or you have diarrhea or you constantly have stomach problems if there's a traumatic experience that happened to you that you need to uh, assess and assert and grow from and if there is I ask you that throughout the course of your the rest of your day the rest of your week the rest of your month you try and establish what situation or a uh, number of situations took place for you to feel like that you were traumatized and for you to feel that you weren't in a safe place now once you've established this you also want to understand that right now you are not currently in that situation anymore so you're an adult hopefully and you could create a very safe space for yourself so what i'm asking you to do is create a parasympathetic state for yourself like do 5 10 15 minutes of breathing exercises uh 5 10 15 minutes of meditation go to a place you like relax center yourself ground yourself eat foods that don't irritate your system so not too much coffee not too much uh, black teas not too much cereals rice bread etc eat foods that are soothing to the system uh, drink drinks that are soothing for, uh, to the system hibiscus ham chamomile mint and so on and so forth and see if this helps you to relax and to calm down don't condition yourself not to go to the washroom I mean a big problem with people today is that they tax their sleep and they tax their they're going to the washroom right so when you're in a hurry or you have a lot of things to do what you do is you don't sleep as much and if you have to go to the washroom like you're like okay I'm gonna go later and so you rush to work and then you don't feel like it anymore and guess what like you kind of missed your chance in a way a lot of whatever you didn't eliminate is gonna get uh, dried up and putrefy in your system to a certain degree and then when you're ready to go to the washroom you might actually not have the feeling to go to the washroom so you you might have missed your chance until you really really have to go again so never skip out on going to the washroom in fact make it a priority every morning when you wake up that you eliminate it's how you should start the day and you should actually eliminate two to three times a day and you should el eliminate in decent portions if uh, you're not eliminating take fibers psyllium husk uh, which is metamucil uh, cascada sagrada which is like this really interesting bark that tastes a bit cinnamony uh, you could have ground flaxseed uh, golden flax are the best they have the best linoseed oil in there and just make sure you're eliminating whatever you're not eliminating will cause havoc and will create more and more toxins in your system uh, what I'm asking from this video is you assert and assess what has been traumatic in your life that's not making you comfortable when you go to the washroom if this is your case and once you've asserted this, asserted this bring yourself to a peaceful place make peace with whatever has happened in your past in order for you to feel mentally stable in order for you to uh, re, uh, reassert the gut brain connection so remember there's three brains there's the gut brain the heart brain and the brain brain 
if any of these three things are not working serendipitously with each other, you will cause some kind of, uh, of digestive issue and also emotional and mental issue. If you have questions, please uh, write me. I haven't blogged in a while, so I'm a little kind of shy right now. Uh, so if you have questions, please write me. If you want to book a natural pet session or whatever session, just let me know. If you have questions for further blogs, also let me know. Remember, be emotionally serene. Find out what's bothering you. Uh, make peace with what's bothering you. And don't forget to go to the washroom.